everybody. Okay, so you're riding your little motorized bike down the road, your chain breaks, you get you a new chain in and it's too long, right? Well, it's better being too long than too short because you can't stretch. I mean, these stretch just a little bit, but not that much, okay? You can't stretch them to fit. So you're going to have to break the chain. That's what we call it in the biz or cut it or whatever, okay? So the tool that you need is a chain breaker tool. I know you don't have one. So what can you use? Well, do you have a vise? If you have a vise, a fine adjustment tool, a hammer, and a pin punch. That's all you're going to need. Now, if you don't have a vise, what you can do, let me show you here. Let me show you on the, uh, on the vise. Okay, so if you don't have a vise, really all you need is a piece of metal that, you, that has a hole drilled in it that's about the size, just a little bit larger than the pin that's in there. So all this really is here is just another pin, kind of like this here, that's just, a, you know, about that long that's pressed into place. What we need to do is take it out. So let's say that we need to break this bad boy right here, okay? So what we're going to do, a vise works pretty good because you can kind of lay the chain over and if you want, take some rubber bands or tie wrap or something and hold this thing together. What you don't want is this thing hanging over it because it's going to keep falling off. If you have a friend to help you hold it, well that makes it that much easier. Okay, so we're going to break this bad boy right here, okay? What we're going to do, we're gonna, ultimately we're going to want to put a master link there, but let me show you what we do. Okay. So I've got it like that, and we just want to get the jaws of the vise open just enough for the pin to go through. And you're going to give it a good hard love tap. Okay, so now that that pin is driven down and it's flush there, it's not going down anymore, right? So this is where the pin punch comes into play. you go. Oh, there we go. I was looking. So we've got that out and there you go. It's broken. So now you can t put your chain together, put your master link on it and you're on the road. Okay. Now if you're having a problem with your chain breaking, check the link down below. I've got a video where I show you how to, uh, correct any problems you may have that will cause your chain to break on your motorized bike. As well, check the link down below. I've got a better chain than the stock 415 chain that's not going to break. It's a little bit wider, give you some more wiggle room. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. There's a subscribe button down there somewhere, mash on it. I want to thank you for watching. Y'all come back now, you hear?